hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll show you how to make an electronic scale that you can use to measure your dogs or really anything using a microcontroller and some load sensors. Check the video description for a list of all the components used and also links to the code. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe the video for more updates. Now, let's get started. To start, you'll want to build a frame to put the sensors and a platform to stand on. Our platform is 53 by 53 centimeters with about half an inch of plywood layers on top. Here is some footage of the welding process. Once you have the frame ready, place the sensors with the round tip facing the floor. I found many online tutorials that face the sensor the opposite way, but when we checked the commercial bathroom scale we found that the sensors were facing down, so that's what we did. The main components used for this project are an 80 tiny 85 or an Arduino Uno as the brain, four 50kg 3-wire load sensors, one HX711 amplifier module, one 16x2 LCD screen with integrated I2C module, a power source, jumper wires, and a strip board for the final circuit. The sensors I'm using have a 50kg capacity each, for a total of 200kg when combined, or roughly 441 pounds. First, you should determine which pair of wires have the highest resistance between them. You can do this with a multimeter. In my case, those were the black and white cables in each cell. I'll be using those colors as reference, but remember that yours might be different. Ok, begin by numbering your sensors in each corner of the frame in a counterclockwise fashion. Now take sensors 1 and 2 and connect them by their white cables. Do the same between sensors 4 and 3. Next, you will connect sensors 1 and 3 by their black cables. Do the same between sensors 4 and 2. The actual color should not matter as long as you're connecting the same colors together. Finally, the remaining wires, in my case the red ones, will go to the HX711 module in the following way. Sensor 4 to E+, Sensor 1 to E-, Sensor 2 to A-, and Sensor 3 to A+. We won't be using the remaining two pins in the module. As you can see, I soldered the cables between sensors and made sure all connections are not moving. This part is really important if you want to avoid headaches while debugging your code. Here you can see the contents of the GitHub repository. These store the folders that contain the code for the two versions of the scale. Additionally, I added this I2C scanner code, which by the way, I didn't write, but it will help you determine the hex address for your I2C module in your LCD screen, which will be necessary later. Now let's switch over to the Arduino code. I'm using Arduino IDE version 1.8.10 for this project. And here you can see the three libraries that will be needed. HX711, Wire, and Liquid Crystal. If you don't have them installed already, check if they are available from the library manager. You go to Sketch, Include Library, and then Manage Libraries or add a .zip file. The next part defines the pins that we'll be using in the Arduino board. The HX711 module will connect to digital pins 2 and 3 from the Arduino. Here we are initializing the HX711 library and the Liquid Crystal library. This hex value is the address we found with the I2C scanner code. The setup function contains calls to a startup message function, which writes to the LCD screen. There are also initialization steps for the sensors, which I copied from one example from the HX711 repository. The code for the ATtiny is very similar, except that I had to swap the library's wire for wire M and liquid crystal for liquid crystal ATtiny. Aside from that, you have to be careful about the pins you use. For example, in the code, I'm connecting the HX711 to digital pins 3 and 4, which correspond to physical pins 2 and 3. I'll show a diagram in a moment to try to explain it, and I'll include it in the repository as well. Then to upload your sketch, you have to go to tools and select the correct board and process. Mine is an 80 tiny 85 with an internal clock of 8 MHz. 
then on the programming select Arduino Uno's ISP. However, you need to prepare the Arduino Uno beforehand for that step. I'm assuming you already know how to do that, but just in case I will provide some links to resources for that. And in case you want me to do a video explaining it, I'll just mention it in the comments. Okay, here's the final circuit. This is the 801085, the piece of speaker, the LCD screen. This goes down to the HX711 and I'm using an FTDI chip to power the project with this battery. I'll provide a diagram for this, but keep in mind that I didn't plan ahead of time, so you can probably improve this design much more. Now let's go to the front side to see the screen. There's the front side of the panel and there is the battery, so I'm going to turn it on. Here we see the turn on message, the animation. Get on, and that's how it starts. I'll also make a video soon showing how to train your dogs to get on the scale after you have built it. This diagram shows you how to wire your Arduino Uno to the 8085 so you can upload the sketches to the 85. Okay, this is the Arduino Uno and this is the 8085. You will begin by connecting digital pin 10 in Arduino to physical pin 1 in the 8085, digital pin 11 in Arduino to physical pin 5, digital pin 12 to physical pin 6, digital pin 13 to physical pin 7, ground to the physical pin 4, and BCC to physical pin 8. Here are the connections as well, that you can see. Now this is a capacitor, a 10 microfarad capacitor that you may need to use for your project. Here. The positive side of the capacitor with the longer tip will go to the reset pin in the Arduino and the negative side will go to ground in the Arduino as well. Here you can see it bridging the two sides. You may need to use it if you're having problems and getting some errors while compiling or uploading your sketch. It might be the reason. I didn't need to use it on Linux for some reason, but I did have to use it on Windows. Here we have the diagram for the ATtiny project. This is the HX711 module, the ATtiny85, the I2C module, and the speaker. And they'll be connected this way. For the HX711 to the ATtiny, we will connect data to physical pin 2, and then clock to physical pin 3. But keep in mind that in code we will refer to these pins as 3 and 4. Now, for the I2C module, we will connect SDA to physical pin 5, over here and SCL to physical pin 7. However, in the code we'll refer to them as 0 and 2. Just check for that. Here we see the diagram for the dog scale using an Arduino Uno. This is the HX711 module, this is the Arduino Uno, the I2C module connected to the LCD, and the PSO speaker that I included. We'll begin by connecting the HX711 module to the Arduino. The data pin will go to digital pin 2, and clock pin will go to digital pin 3, which is also written here. The HX711 to Arduino Uno. Then, to connect to the I2C module, we'll take the SDA pin in the I2C module and connect it to analog pin 4. Then the pin SCL will go to analog pin 5, over here. If you found this video useful, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification icon to receive future updates. Also, let me know in the comments if you have any questions or suggestions on how to improve the project. Well, see you in the next video. Bye!